Okay, hello everybody. Um, I am on the way. Oh, there's a car parked right in the most silly place. I'm going to go in the middle of the road so I can see. Right, um, sorry. Um, I'm on the way to collect Zav because we are going to, I'm going to have my TB Quantifurian Gold blood test because I need to have this done to make sure that I don't have TB in the system, which I'm sure I don't anyway. But um, yeah, because um, when I start taking the Humira, the that medicine can flare up TB if you have it. So I'm going for that today and I'm guessing they will give me a prescription for Hamira um, and I take the prescription either to them and they find, I don't know if they they actually um, administer the Hamira or whether I have to get it from another source but um, yeah I'm guessing I'll get the prescription today and then we have to find somewhere that's kind of reasonably pr priced to get the medicine and I'm guessing I'll start the injection from next week maybe and based on that um, if I'm having an injection next week and then two weeks after that I have the second injection and then two weeks after that I have the cytokines checked again um, but uh, obviously if the levels have dropped like they want them to before I start IVF then I think I'd be going from my June cycle and when I say going for my June cycle I mean when I start my period in June which should be around the 18th 19th somewhere around that week um, I then have to count 21 days from there and I start my injections on day 21 so that is where we're at so but obviously if the levels don't drop the cytokines they so, sometimes can increase when you have a mirror which would be a real pain in the bum because um, then I'd have to pay another 800 pound to have another round of Hamira and another blood test again which is like the Hamira is about 800 pounds or more and the blood test to check the levels it's about 350 so it's a lot of money and we're hoping that that won't be the case because then I'd have to wait another six weeks for this whole having a mirror having another injection two weeks later and then another blood test the two weeks after that so I'm guessing it would either be from my June cycle or July cycle so yeah that's what we're off to do now and I'm about to pull into where Zab is and yeah hopefully show you what's going on at the clinic but if not we'll just tell you what happens when we come out but we'll see bye okay excuse the shaky camera because i'm holding the phone but um we have left the clinic and I thought they were going to give me a prescription for Hamira, but they don't do it until they've got the results back from the TB Quantifu and Gold blood test, which I've had. Oh. Which I have had, if you can see the little plaster there. Um, they said that the Humira will be, because they told me it was between eight and nine hundred pounds, so I wasn't sure. And she said, do you know how much it is? And I said, no, I thought it was just between eight and nine. But she said it's actually eight fifty, so it's directly in between eight and nine, so, um, hundred pounds. So um, she said, uh, we've got a few days to kind of look into the prices of Hamira in different places. Otherwise, they'll go with the um, their own people that they get the uh, medicines from. But apparently there's like places like Tesco and Asda that might be able to do it cheaper with a prescription so I just need to call and find out what their prices are and just give the prescription in I guess yeah surprising I wouldn't have thought of yeah I know when they said Asda I was like Asda mm. that's like a supermarket here for anyone that doesn't um, live in the UK <laughs> I was like Tesco Asda and she said to make sure you say it's for fertility treatment um, but obviously I'll have a prescription from them so a doctor's prescribed it for me so I won't have any problems getting it I guess it's just the um, different prices um, on what price we want to get it as little as possible obviously nearer to 800 than, uh, than 900 I think yeah. some places charge I've seen some places are charging like for 750 on forums and things but I don't know so yeah that's that so um, the blood test results will be back on Tuesday so we've got from now which is Friday to Tuesday to look into this stuff and um, I'm guessing they'll have a prescription waiting for us at the hospital at the clinic or they'll send the prescription to us or whatever I might have to go back to the, hospital, the clinic and get it so and also on another note I got um, 
an appointment through from the actual hospital regarding my tubes being tied and stuff and it's not until the, the first of all I got a letter saying it was the 15th of June which is far uh, quite far away anyway it's like two months time just to see him to then be put on the waiting list it's just ridiculous um, but um, then I got another letter yesterday to say that oh unfortunately they've had to move it on further to the 27th of June so we're just like pff, that's on the back burner for us if they're going to drain our tubes anyway um, drain my tubes at egg collection anyway I'll just wait for that whenever it comes I'm not delaying IVF for them they're just taking the beep now so yeah so that's my update for now I uh, hope you're all well sorry for the redness of our skin from being burnt especially my nose um, we've just got back from Madrid um, I'll be putting up a video of some of our clips as well so I hope you enjoy that and I'll talk to you all soon bye hope you're all well Bye. So um, I've got home and I spent a lot of the day ringing up pharmacies, as the Tesco, local pharmacies, different super drug, things like that in the UK to find out whether they they could give me a cheaper price on Humira. Um, and I managed to find one place that actually charged £704 instead of £850. So that's quite good. I'm hoping to try and get some more quotes that are slightly lower. Some people are saying that they'll try and match it and some of them were saying, oh, um, the cost of the Hamira is actually 700, but you know, with the charges on top and whatever, it gets, gets ridiculous. But um, yeah, 704 is the amount that I've got it down to at the moment. So yeah, that's 150 quid less than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm just gonna keep trying and um, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.